Hey you guys, I'll see it, I'll say it, I'll show it. How do you stay motivated? How do you stay energized? Well, the way I do it is blogging and posting and commenting and going on the websites and listening to uh, websites or where there are teaching, motivation, reading, encouraging myself, telling myself, talking to myself. I do all those things to keep me motivated. Do I go to friends and family? Very rarely. I used to, but I realized that friends and family were not as understanding. Some of them gave me crazy questions. It's like, why do you want to do that? That's going to take too long. And do you have the ability? Do you have the money? It's so hard. How do you know you're going to get support? Well, of course, as we talked in previous vlogs, that, you know, unfortunately, everybody's not on your side. You can't tell everybody your business, which was very difficult for me because for some reason, I wanted to share how I was feeling with somebody. Where that came from, I don't know. But then I realized I was listening to somebody, specifically uh, Tiffany Montgomery. She said, shut your mouth. Stop talking so much. And I realized that was me. I was talking too much. I wanted to share. I thought sharing how I felt and sharing what I wanted to do was going to encourage me but I believe that somewhere in there that talking about what I wanted to do to the wrong person they were kind of blocking my energy maybe they were praying against me I don't know of course there is a possibility that they might have been demonic voices visiting voices to kind of Find out what I'm doing so they can block what God has already said that will happen. And of course, you know, I have authority. I have victory. And so, of course, I have to walk in my victory. I have to walk in what God said is going to happen and do it. So those are the things that I'm doing. Not because I have all the knowledge and wisdom, but I know that I do at the same time, not in a boastful way but in a humble way to know that God has blessed me with this ability this talent this understanding and of course it cannot be removed unless I remove it so of course I have to talk to myself and tell me myself that I can do these things and you can too of course you have in fact you have to you have to tell yourself in the mirror, because that's my daily walk. Sometimes I have to look in the mirror and say, Joyce, what's up? You can do this. You can, but you have to follow the steps. Now, there, are, it's not going to bam happen. No, of course not. I have to do the work. I have to set the plan. I have to write everything down. I have to do the steps that's going to do, that's going to make everything fall in place. I have to spend the money and invest in programs and projects and listening to people who have way more way more uh, knowledge than I do. Being the smartest person in the room is not attractive. I don't want to be the smartest person in the room because so, I want to collectively get more information. And I think that's what we need to do. Be around people who have a little bit more knowledge that you have. And when they say things, don't get a spirit of offense. Don't say, well, that's not me. I don't do that. Well, maybe you need to take a minute, self-assess, and say, you know what? Sometimes I do do that. And maybe I need to change a little bit. So be open to listen to constructive criticism or um, authentic suggestions from the person with the knowledge because that's the whole idea of going to somebody with knowledge because when you get the knowledge that they have you're going to be blessed with the same information and you're going to get the blessings that they get because 
that scripture. I don't know exactly where it is right now, but I will post it. So here, this is my rant for today to encourage myself to keep going, to stay motivated, to move forward, to do everything I need to do, post when I don't have anything that I feel is necessary, but I feel like even if it's just one person, I post every day even if it's for one person because this is what God has told me to do and I'm going to do it. And so listen to that small shrinking voice that's deep, deep, deep in here. And guess who that is? That's the Holy Spirit nudging you, telling you, go for it. Let's do it. Let's do this. Let's do this. And you can do. You can do it. And you will be successful doing what you plan to do, accomplishing the goals that you set. All right. So I'm Joyce Laverne, the executive voice of I'll Express It. And my mission is to encourage, motivate preteens and their families with um, inspirational messages, drama, and creative literacy. I, you can follow me here on YouTube. So click the notification bell and uh, subscribe. And also go to my website and check around. I'm still working on it, but still check around while I'm working on it. And one of the things I do have is a poem called I'll Strive to Be Successful. And I it's in poster form. It encouraged me. It encourages a lot of young people. Uh, and now it is on my website. In post size, 18 by 24. I will post the link in the, uh, the no, what, what is it? In the comment section. So you guys are growing with me. I am not going to say I know it all, but I am excited about what I'm learning and doing. And I'm not going to be ashamed that I don't know it all. So let's grow together. Let's be inspired together. And let's do what God has taught us to do because that's it's, it's very important. We, we don't need to do what they say do. Do what God said do. And we will get the rewards that we're looking for. We'll get the results that we want. Okay? So thank you for listening. And I will check you out later.